Okay. Okay, that's it. Well, good morning. This is July 4th. I got the date right. Uh, this is the last clutch of babies that we, I believe we have, but I want to do a quick little video of how you tie off the umbilical cords. So, this one right here that we're focusing on, I already put the thread. You can use thread, dental floss. Some people use fishing line. I don't think fishing line's good. So this is dental floss. And as you can see, I'm holding, I'm holding part of the umbilical cord. Now I don't know if this is this is a uh, part of her egg mass, her or him, or is it this little small? I'm thinking it's this little small preemie right beside me. But basically, just get around it. Just stay still. And it's uh, can get a little messy, but wrap it. The thread. And just get one. You can do one, I go two, no special knots. And there's a reason behind this because if she is dragging all that egg yolk, there's no way she's going to, there that's done, see now that's nice and tight. And then what you'll do is, don't have to be a clean razor because you're on the other side, just about where it's located, and I cut it right like that. Now what I'll do is I'll leave that on there. You can cut the strings off, piece of the string later. But now the reason behind that, there's no way she'll absorb all this yolk. So, either you hope she survives, because there's no way you can remove that yolk and let her survive. So what you do is you gotta you t cut that from her, that way when she tries to pull and it pops, it just it doesn't bleed out. But basically that's how you tie off an umbilical cord. So. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Pat from Riverside Reptile Breeders, signing off.